Hello, everybody. This is Tara Queen Jamila. I'm here to do a weekly love forecast for the Leo. So this is going to be a really quick three-card reading. And it's just going to be a really quickie reading for next week. <clears throat> okay? It may not resonate with all of you Leos. Um, if it doesn't, you can get a personal reading. I do offer same-day readings. So, <clears throat> please excuse me. I'm listening to throat chakra healing meditation music because I've been using my voice too much and I kind of had to raise my voice today. So, I don't like doing that ever. It just messes up my balance. Okay. So, um, this is going to be for April the 18th to April the 24th of 2016 for... Um, past, present, and future. And I don't want to take forever shuffling my cards, so I'm going to stop and cut the deck. Sorry about the voiceover. <clears throat> I just didn't feel like moving my fountain off my altar. All right, so for the uh, present, you got the Justice card, Leo. So uh, just recently there was some sort of karmic justice that you got and typically depending on the outer land cards it looks like the karma was good yeah okay so this is a really beautiful reading for you leos um there was something going on within your life or your love life that was unfair um and <clears throat> So pretty much your good karma, because you were fair and you were um, genuine to your heart. Um, a lot of the Leos that I know, they're very, very, oh my God, I love this zodiac sign. I'm a Leo rising. Um, and I have a cousin that's a Leo and I love her so much. She is a star. And... Um, she's not feeling well right now, but... Typically, the Leo, they are very, um, very, very, very big on integrity and honor um, because you're dealing with the lion. So um, they're going to tell you the truth. Leos are very honest people. They're brutally honest. So you were honest and you just recently got some justice. The queen of swords is in your past. Um, this can either be you or this could be a literal person, another person. So for some of you, it is another literal person. Um, some of you Leos that are single just recently got divorced. And I can see in the past that there was issues in the marriage caused by some um, by an older woman in the family. It could be her in spirit. It could be the actual person in the flesh. Um, whatever the case was, she didn't or he didn't because this could be a man or a woman. Um, the Queen of Swords is not somebody to cross. So, I, you know, I feel like for some of you, um, either way that it goes, your final card, your future card is the Three of Wands. And it really can't get any better than that because obviously it looks like there was some issues here. And for the Three to come up, this is a really beautiful card. But it didn't come up as a two because the justice card is a balance. This is a, this is all things being as they should, you know, restoring the balance of good and evil. So there was a major life event that just happened for a lot of you Leos. Whatever it was that tipped the balance of fairness in your favor. Um, so it looks like from the three, there's a third party involved. It could be, it's usually a mother or a sister, okay, or a best friend of the person. <laughs> and they have to approve of you, you know, because obviously if, you know, you're involved with someone, it's just easier and better for everybody to get along because we all know how mothers can be if they don't like you or sisters or whatever it can be some issues but i don't really see any issues i just see a lot of fairness and balance in your love life currently 
and I see the Queen of Swords in the past, and there was issues with her. Um, but then in the future, I, I kind of see these energies coming together and creating something. The Three of Wands um, is about creation, and it's also about pregnancy. Whenever I see the Three of Wands, I always see the mother, the father, the mother, and the child. doesn't matter what sex it is. This is the energy behind when a man wants to put a baby in a woman um, and with the wands because this is about their self identity so they want to reproduce themselves right so the three of wands meaning expansion growth fresh starts long term success getting into a partnership with someone um, making some kind of trade as 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 I would say compromising with each other and being patient enough. And whenever I see this card, I always see when I'm when I'm looking at a couple, you know, this is that couple going through a hard time and then, you know, the rewards came afterwards. So there was, um, you know, with the wands, it's a lot of soul searching and the finding of self within that card. So that's a really beautiful reading. I'm going to cut this one short, you guys. If you want a personalized reading, my website's in the video description box. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And I have a very special video coming up because I am at 2,333 subscribers the last time I checked. So it might be more now, but um, yeah, it's actually more now. So it's... I, I gained three subscribers since an hour or so. Thank you so much for subscribing. Keep, keep supporting the channel. And also, you can become a patron if you want to donate to my channel. If you just want to donate a dollar, five dollars per month, I would really appreciate it. And it'll keep the channel going and it'll help improve the channel. All right, so I'll see you guys later. Good luck. Bye.